You know, the more I sat back and really digested this film, I actually liked it much more than I initially was going to rate it. Um, and I took time to think about a couple of events towards the end of the film. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, I like this film and I'm ready to talk about it. So let's jump into the review now of the new film, Virus 32. What's up, folks, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the film Virus 32, which is available now on Shudder. Now, this film was refreshing. I'm going to break it all down, but I just kind of want to go over my train of thoughts about this film. Initially, I'll say, you know what? This is a very solid production. I'm not mad at it. It was okay. Then I just kind of sat back, digested it. And, and, and kind of thought it over a little bit and it was like you know what the conclusion of this film really established a world that i'm actually interested in so overall when i think about this film i thought it was a solid foundation for what could be a very interesting franchise because one i love a zombie apocalypse movie um or you know series whatever it may be and you know the fact that this genre is so popular when you're able to create something new and unique and refreshing, it, it's, it, it deserves a little bit more credit. And that's where I'm at with it, where I'm thinking like, you know what? I'm actually not mad at this. I actually do want to see where this can go beyond this. But for this film itself, it's solid. And it actually laid good a good foundation of things that possibly could come. And overall, in enjoying this film, I enjoyed it. I did, throughout and through end. Like, I definitely thought this film left some things on the table. I'm gonna get into it, but overall, I'm not. I'm not mad at it. And and to be honest, in terms of what other zombie apocalypse franchise that it reminds me of, 25, 28 days later, like that's that's definitely the one. Except it's refreshing. It's like a new take on it and whatnot. Uh, because in Virus 32, it's basically about a virus um, that's taking over the city um, and now infecting humans now reanimated uh which after they get their fix in terms of some type of killing and whatnot it takes them 32 seconds to basically take a break recharge and then back at it again <laughs> so you know it's just like all right yep killed somebody guess i'll just kick it for a second 32 seconds later they're back at it again so that's what this film does different and unique um, what, and what happens in this world now, the zombie apocalypse, you have Iris, who is a security guard at this sports club. Unfortunately, it was her night to watch her daughter. So she had to bring her daughter to work. And like, let's just keep it 100 right now. Her daughter being at work with her was definitely just the most like bizarre thing beyond everything that happens because she's working an overnight shift her daughter is definitely in her you know her very very young i'm gonna say she's like 10 maybe i'm not sure but definitely has no place to be in at this establishment at night you know the, the place that she's working at isn't like disneyland it is definitely something very uh shady um and then amongst that why she tries to make her job seem cool and try to pique her daughter's interest and whatnot uh, and and by the way, like with the with her work in the night shift, she's not even keeping her next to her. She's just like, hey, you can hang out here while I'm here, and like, I don't know, bad parenting if you ask me. But hey, um, but as these things are happening with her job, she's unaware that there is an outbreak of sorts outside, which is soon to take over the city. So this movie sort of becomes a not only a movie or a night of survival for Iris. But Iris gets separated from her daughter, Tata, which in that case, not only becomes a survival for the two of them, but a search and rescue for her daughter, where she does um, eventually meet another ally in Luis, who's also sort of the same sort of thing go kind of going on here. It's, it's a little bit different, but, and the reason I bring up Luis is because Luis is that character who has a little bit more information about things that are going on. So why Iris is kind of trying to figure out things herself, Luis is kind of like, yeah, by the way, you should know these things. And that sort of helps build an established profile as to what they're dealing with and they're trying to survive tonight. Now, so there's that. Now, like I said, the film has solid production. Um, nothing truly stood out for me besides the overall plot, which was unique. 
um as far as the conventions of how this film was built very much the same as things you've seen before um so a lot of the typical zombie apocalypse tropes you can definitely spot out in this um i absolutely want to say that this film was not too brutal wasn't too intense uh, thus leaving a lot on the table for those departments like there was so much implied brutality and gore that they they could have did a lot more but they really played this one very very safe except for this one scene with this baby which was super intense for me i almost had to kind of look away um i really enjoyed the score for this film i thought it was really good really helped um build um the film momentum in certain spots and overall just a very very good entertaining score that really made things climatic at times um but with that being said uh you know it it, it really didn't do too much in terms of its uniqueness in terms of the zombies like the special effects didn't look anything that i haven't seen any before uh it's just the overall plot and then the overall just world building of what these type of zombies do that is intriguing that you possibly think what could they do beyond this so that's how that kind of goes and overall you know the ending was a little unhinged but yet i was kind of like scratching my head about some of the events of the ending but i think more or less it's just more about what this film could possibly do going forward in terms of a franchise they definitely established something there's still a lot more questions than answers and i'm very interested to see what it would do i am but I, it's totally worth a, uh, uh, it's totally worth a watch, especially if you like anybody who likes zombie apocalypse and that genre and whatnot. Um, this is definitely worth a watch. Um, and when you do, you know, get, give your theories about the the, the origins of the zon, uh, of of the virus, and you know, ultimately, where would you like to kind of see this franchise go? I would definitely be on board for a sequel here. So you know, we'll kind of see what happens beyond this. But overall, for for foundation, very solid, and I, I enjoyed this. A good hour and thirty minutes of just you know event after event of event of different things happening of this night of survival so but yep check it out jump in the comments let me know your thoughts about it when you do and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon